Lisa here. Thanks for joining me today. I have two cards I'm going to be sharing with you and my inspiration was pulled from this mood board from some more fun blog. Today I'm going to be using Raisin Boats Playing Cupid and we're going to be using these two hearts to create shamrocks. And you can find this Playing Cupid set at somemorefun.com. So I'm going to be using some Strathmore Bristol paper, add a little bit of anti-static powder for heat embossing, and then we're going to go ahead and stamp the first heart, and we're using Versamark ink, and then I'm going to add some gold embossing powder and heat set this. So we'll reposition the stamp, add a little bit of anti-static powder again to our paper, and go ahead and stamp that image again. Then we'll add some gold embossing powder and heat set it. Okay, so we're going to do that step one more time to complete our shamrock. Some, we're going to add some anti-static powder and then we're going to position our stamp and add some Versamark ink to it, stamp it, add gold embossing powder and heat set it one more time. So now I'm going to add a little bit of color to it with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. I'm just using a few shades of green and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it with an aqua brush, spread it out, and then we're going to set it to the side and we're going to let it dry. So while that one dries, we're going to start the next card and I'm going to be using 110 pound Nina cardstock. I'm going to randomly stamp these hearts creating shamrocks with them and here I'm using Memento ink in Olive Grove. I then use Simon Says Stamp Fern and I follow up with Memento inks in Cottage Ivy, Pistachio, Pear Tart, Bamboo Leaves, and New Sprout. So I'm going to be using the Brazen Boat Tremendous stamp set and I'm using one of the small little detail stamps on there. It's like three circles stacked on top of each other. Now when I position this I give it a little curve um, just to kind of mimic the stem of a shamrock. So now to assemble the cards, I die cut both of the stamp panels and a piece of the Raisin Boats Summer Lime cardstock for matting. I'm going to layer those onto four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold 110 pound Nina cardstock. And because I don't have St. Patty's Day stamps, I use my Cameo and Sketch pens to create my sentiments. I'm also going to be using 3D mounting foam to adhere the stamped images to the center of my cards and we're also going to use that with our sentiments. Once we have that done we're going to add some embellishments and I'm going to be using some clear sequins from Little Things by Lucy's Cards along with some of her pearls and I'm going to use Doodlebug Sprinkles on the second card. So that wraps it up and there's our two cards using heart stamps to create shamrocks and I appreciate you watching and I hope you'll join me again. Until then, take care and keep crafting.